exactly a next part is there is a controller so controller is a class and we have the function call action So action is basically a function and by default name available in MVC is called index An action can generate a view and we apply server side programming in view is called eraser programming. And next call blazer programming is client side. So we are lucky we are having a C shop. So C shop can run at the client side also by the blazer programming. We'll discuss next session what is blazer programming. So we apply the razor programming is called server side programming in your view in MVC. Now, so action can associate to view because action is basically a function as return return then your view so view is a basically helper method view is basically a helper method and action returns by default as an action result action result so action result is basically a class every action is returning by default in mvc as an action result and there are several classes in a hierarchical manner as they follow inheritance principle there are several classes are inheriting directly or indirectly uh, from action result like file result like your a view result like your partial view result there are several classes inheriting directly or indirectly from action result and they also follow the runtime polymorphism and this is the basic example of runtime polymorphism because action result class is just an abstract class. So this class cannot stand shaded directly. So this class, so action result class is abstract. So view result, file result, partial view result, and view is a view is a helper method of a view result class view is a helper method of a view result class always keep in mind and this method takes multiple parameters and this method is basically over loaded method and view view function is a helper method of view result class and you can associate this view with the uh, this view. No. So <clears throat> so they follow at this point the covariance principle because list derived class sorry the most derived class most derived class can assign to the base class most derived class can assign to the base class so covariance means assignment compatibility assignment compatibility most derived class can assign to the a uh, derived class sorry assign to the base class like action result action result result 
space obj is equal to new a view result i'm writing short a view result so most derived class can assign to the base class then you can have the assignment compatibility so the working of action follow covariance principle and there is assignment compatibility due to you are assigning the most derived class to the base class that's why the actual implementation done by the concrete class of the action result so the view is generated by the view result the partial view result the file result or json result but action result is basically abstract and abstract class intended intended to be extended not to be instantiated so that's why the function of action the function called action returns as a returns as action result and return attached with the any derived class of this a base class so this is follow the covariance principle and known as assignment compatibility between the most derived class to the a base class now so come to next part <clears throat> So there is a action and there is a view. And view follow the result programming and result programming on the server side not at the client side an action is a function returns as a helper method and helper method uh, reflect to the own class it might be a json result or file result or view result but by default return the a view result now so i want to make a view in mvc a first impression for any developer after learning architecture i want to make a view so there are two ways you can go for making a view in mvc so html helper class html html helper class helper class uh, gives you privileges html helper class uh, gives you privileges there are two ways you can go for making a view in mvc one by the strongly type view or second a simple html view so html helper class is responsible to make a, a ui in mvc as we do same thing in angular by template driven approach or model driven approach so if you want to go for a strongly type you have to make a view against to your model is a strongly type or you can make a simple view without having any model but a strong recommendation in a project level is you always apply the strongly type for making a view so in this case you have to go for model so model will have model folder will have the class called implied or cs i can define the properties here and we can attach this properties with the corresponding text box of this presentation layer using lambda expression 
So for the binding, we apply the lambda expression for the properties. So HTML helper is HTML helper is basically a class, and there are two ways we can go for making a view. One by the simple HTML helper, or second called strongly type HTML helper. Now, suppose I want to make a employee form. I want to make an employee form in MVC. An action is there. Action is a part of controller. Don't think for syntax how we can make. It's a class today for concepts. Next class tomorrow, complete practical implementation, no theory. So, user request to control plus action and we get a resultant call view. And view extension is .cs HTML. And we apply the class in this file called HTML helper to make a UI. I think technically everyone, now action, whenever user request to controller of MVC, so it gives me view. So uh, we have the verbs called HTTP get. HTTP get. If function attached with HTTP get, it gives you a view, right? And when you submit, when you submit, I'm having a UI at this point. So if you submit, you want to call the post. So every submit is basically a post. So at this point, I want to go for post the operation. So if you click on submit, I want to post. I should have one more function, one more action. So this will be HTTP post. This will be HTTP post. So if you click on submit, I want to post my data to the action. Look at reverse engineering. So if you want to get this view, mark the method as HTTP get. You want to go for submission of data from view to action. So you make one more function mark as HTTP post. So my question is, I'm having an employee code E001, employee name Deepak is a 25. So if I click on submit, how we can go for getting the data to the action, to the action. So we have inbuilt binders, we have inbuilt binders for binder for getting the data from view to the action. Then we can pass to the uh, business logic layer, then to data access layer for submission of data in database table. So HTML helper says, are you using a simple HTML programming? HTML helper says, are you using a simple HTML programming? Or you're using a, a strongly type? So if you go for simple HTML programming, simple HTML programming by HTML helper, then there are three ways. And there are three ways we can go for retrieving the data from view to action as inbuilt binders. Inbuilt binder. One is called form collection. One is called forms collection. Right. Second called request, second called request, and third is your parameter. These are inbuilt binder, these are inbuilt binder for retrieving a data 
from view and providing to action. <clears throat> so form collection, request and parameter. The three ways you can go for a posting a data from view <clears throat> from view a to action. What are the differences in between? Wait for tomorrow, next session. No. <clears throat> I don't want to go for applying the uh, simple HTML helper way method for a posting a data from a view to action by any other, by any ways, either form collection or by request or parameter. I want to go for a strongly type. So if you want to go for a strongly type, you make a model. You make a model. If you don't want to go for the uh, simple HTML helper, you go for model. And check your database table. Check your database table. Check your number of columns in a table. And to define the properties. To define the properties. So column represent to properties or properties represent to column in a table of database. Define your properties and bind your properties. Bind your properties with a view or bind your properties with the controls available in a view. Bind your properties with the controls available in a view by the model directive. Don't forget. Don't forget. So when to go for model directive? So model is a directive. Model is a directive in MVC to bind the properties with the control. So when to go for model directive, Sandeep? Model is a directive. If you want to go for a strongly typed view, every control should map with the uh, properties. So we do by the model directive. How? Don't ask. Go step by step. First, you build up the concepts, then you can easily do the programs. Or watching a program by someone, uh, no benefit. First, you build up the concepts. Anyway, so model is a directive. So you can bind the control with the properties using lambda expression. So model is a directive to bind the control employee code with the properties, with the properties using lambda expression. Now, next point is, this is how we can go for a making a, a basically a presentation layer in MVC by the HTML helper and by the a strongly type HTML helper. So if you want to go for a strongly type HTML helper, so your your model should bind with the a view using a model directive, and we apply the lambda expression for binding. So pause Ankit recording. Okay, sir. <clears throat> 